So here what we're going to do is we're going to go into the course and I'm going to show you how the course works. Okay, so here we have the weather to fly course. So we're going to go in here, we go down here, we're going to go we're going to go ahead and expand this section right here. Weather intro and global energy engine, we've got the the lesson here and then the quiz. So here we go in. We we've, we've got our assignment here, watch the weather to fly a video. Okay? So basically the video is pretty pretty easy here. We just uh, click on the video here and watch that. Additionally, we've also got some weather theory here. So we can go read and understand the pilot's handbook, aeronautical knowledge. Books are preloaded here. So we can look at our weather theory. Of course, we'd also read this. This this essentially is just another way of looking at your weather. They, the FAA actually does a pretty good job here. So you'd read you'd read the book. Look at the video, then once we do that, we'd go in and take our quiz. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down through the a quiz here. We're going to do this. We're going to miss some, uh, go back, look at those, and use that to learn. What are the two primary sources of energy that start the weather? Heat from the sun, high and low pressure, nope. Jet stream, humid, nope. Pre prevailing winds, nope. Heat from the sun and the Earth's rotational velocity. So that's the correct answer there. We're going to go to next. Differences in blank is the primary factor that creates weather. Differences in temperature, creating heat exchange is the correct answer. So we're going to go into that. We're going to say the atmosphere here so we can get a couple wrong. Finish quiz. What we want to do, we can see that we got six of eight. So we got a 75%, which is passing. But we're going to go in and we're going to view the questions. Okay. Now from here, we can see that uh, all the green answers say you got that right. Uh, we see a, a wrong answer down here. Why are the upper air currents winds aloft important for your local weather? We answer because you must fly and then during every, which is not correct. They influence overall and local weather. So there's a correct answer for that particular one. So we're going to remember that, learn from that. We can see here again, what heats up slowly and can store a lot of heat. Well, we know the correct answer is actually water. Now, we answered the atmosphere, so we can see that that's wrong. So those are two answers. We learned from uh, the answers here. So we want to go go back and actually take that quiz again. So off to the left here, we can see how we've got, we can go back and we can go back to our weather intro, or we can actually go back to the quiz directly and accomplish it that way. So we'll just go back to the quiz here directly. Okay, so we've learned the answer we got wrong. So this time we're going to go to, go back through this again. What heats up slowly can store a lot of heat. Well, we know water is correct. So seven of eight. So we can now we did get an 87. So we can click to continue, or we can go back and review the questions. It's better if you go back and review the questions and learn everything, but 70% is the passing grade. You can go on here, you can click to continue. And of course, this brings us to our next lesson here. Similarly, we just watch the video and also read the chapter 12 here, weather theory. And we would go down to our pages listed, read those. And after we've watched the video and read the material here, Chapter 12, Weather Theory, we go down again and we, of course, take the quiz again. Also, you can see here, we, at, at this point, we're 25% complete. We've completed three of the 12 total steps. And you can see here we're on uh, stage two. We've been through our weather uh, information resource pre-flight prep, do our quiz. So we just continue to keep working down through all of our different levels here, watching the video, reading the material, taking the quiz, and we work all the way down to our last lesson to complete the course. And once we successfully complete the lessons and the quizzes, we get a certificate of completion here. So there you go. That shows you how to use your Weather to Fly course.